Welcome everyone, I'm Joe the Lawn Warrior and today I got another overseas project right here behind me. This is my project lawn, so we're going to throw down today and we're going to hope for the best. So let's get started. Before we get going today, I want everyone that's new to hit that subscribe button so we, you don't miss out on future content. I want everyone to join in on the fun so everyone can see the before and after results here at the Project Lawn and at my house as well. So again, if you're new, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content. So let's get back to the video now. So today at the Project Lawn, I'm switching things up. I'm actually gonna be throwing down some GCI Cool Blue. That's what we got right here, this bag. Obviously it's empty right now. We just threw it out in the yard and you can see here, we did a, a pretty much a team up here. Um, my sister and her partner, they uh, spread out everything together. One did the seed and one did the fertilizer, so it made things a lot quicker. So if you have two spreaders like we had, a drop spreader and a broadcast spreader, go ahead, grab two people and spread it out together. It's not gonna hurt anything. You're just gonna make sure that that fertilizer and that seed falls down into the soil canopy so everything gets spread out very nice and even. Today at the lawn here, we did six pounds uh, per 1,000 of the GCI Cool Blue. And if you're not familiar with the GCI Cool Blue right here, it's an 85% tall fescue mix with a 15% Kentucky Bluegrass. The Kentucky Bluegrass that's in here is a midnight grass seed. That's the blend, the Midnight is the name of the grass seed. So it's a really great uh, grass seed Midnight. It's mixed in a lot of great uh, high quality um, grass seeds as well. So that's what we're throwing down here. We did six pounds per 1,000 right here uh, behind me, like I said. Um, we're spreading this out. And again, I wanna thank Pete from GCI Turf for sending out the cool blue with me. Uh, he has some really great grass seed, so I can't wait to see the results here at the Project Lawn with the GCI Cool Blue. So on the Project Lawn today, what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna use my Spray Mate sprayer right here. I love this sprayer. It really does a good job of sucking everything out of it. Again, it's a four gallon backpack sprayer. And like always, I'll leave product links below for this so you guys can check out the sprayer. I do rec highly recommend this sprayer for a DIYer. If this is your first time using a backpack sprayer, um, this is a great beginner backpack sprayer right here. So again, we're gonna spray out on the lawn. We're gonna spray out Air 8 at nine ounces per 1,000. And we're gonna spray out the RGS here at three ounces per 1,000. We are almost out of the RGS. So if we run out of the RGS right here, what we're gonna use is the spoon juice right here. And spoon juice, essentially what it is, is it's R RGS and Humic 12 combined. So again, it's really great for the soil. You have the RGS in it. So if we run out of this, Again, we're gonna use this at the same rate, three ounces per 1,000. We're also gonna use some hydrogen today. Uh, they have some leftover from the uh, summertime. Um, so whatever's left over in this bottle, we're gonna spray out in the yard. And uh, reading the back of it, we the recommended rate is uh, nine ounces uh, per 1,000 square feet. So that's what we're gonna do, nine ounces per 1,000 feet. And then whatever we can get out of leftover in this bottle, we're gonna spray out. So all we're gonna do is combine everything together, throw it in the sprayer right here and spray it out in the yard. So I just got done spraying out the nice cocktail that we worked up today, the hydrogen, the RGS, and obviously the Air 8. All great things to put down, great biostimulants to put down when you put down your grass seed and it's also great just to put down in general in your yard and again you can see here the spray mate right here nothing in there i mean this thing sucked it bone dry which is great uh there's no waste here of spraying out any kind of liquid in your yard with the spray mate right here so that's really great um that's why i really like this backpack sprayer that suction ability is so key in backpack sprayers and you can see here this is bone dry so obviously the next step after you spray is you wanna put down your peat moss. As you can see, we're using the Lanzi peat moss spreader again. I can't say it enough, that thing is a lifesaver. It's so much easier to spread out peat moss that way. The girls even agree with me. They Last year they did it by hand like I did um, and they were out there forever spreading the peat moss. That Lanzi peat moss spreader right there, it is a lifesaver. So again, I highly recommend you check it out if you can fit it in your budget. If it's something that you really would like and you're gonna use year over year, it's gonna pay for itself. So again, $250, Lanzi peat moss spreader. I'll leave it in the video description below the product link. What's nice is this time around, I'm not getting dirty. She's getting dirty. I got a Cape May Oktoberfest right here. My motto is early drinking, early drunken. Cheers.
So we got everything sprayed out and spread with the peat moss and we sprayed out the RGS today, the Air 8, and we also put down some hydrotene. Again, after you put down everything, you wanna put down a nice initial watering. So what we're doing is we're gonna do 20 minutes per zone to make sure we get the nice half, first half inch of the soil nice and moist and we get some water down there. Especially hydrotene, you really have to water the hydrotene in. If you have some and you wanna put it down, make sure you definitely water that in. But like always, I recommend watering everything in regardless of what you're putting down. So again, we're doing about uh, four, uh, we're doing about 20 minutes or 15 minutes each zone uh, for the initial watering, and then they're going to do what they're doing. At, I'm doing at my house. They're going to be doing four times a day watering for about 15 minutes each zone. Um, that should keep their soil nice and moist. We didn't put down peat moss everywhere like I did at my house. Their ha their area is just too big. It'd be just too many bags of peat moss. But we did probably a good about 3,000 square feet and especially in some of the major bare areas we put down the peat moss just so those areas stay a little bit moist for longer um, especially with the peat moss so that's what we did um, if you can't get peat moss down it's fine as long as you keep up with the watering and you get good seed to soil contact um, if you do have a rake, we didn't use it here today, but if you do have a rake um, and you want to li likely uh, rake in that um, seed if you can, make sure it falls down to the soil canopy, uh, definitely go do that. Um, we didn't have to do that here. Um, the seed, we had a drop spreader, which was kind of nice. So those you know, seeds fell right down into that soil canopy pretty well. But if you do have a light rake, nice, you know, plastic leaf rake, it doesn't have to be anything special. Could be one of those like metal uh, leaf rakes as well. Just lightly go over the top layer of the soil or the grass if you're overseeding into grass and just get that seed down into the soil canopy so you get some good seed to soil contact because that, that's what you need for the seed to germinate. You need good seed to soil contact. And what I'm gonna do with this project loan, I'm gonna try and update you guys in about a week on the germination. I do have an Instagram, so go ahead and click it below. It'll take you right to the Instagram page for me. I try and put as many photos on there as I can when I get a chance. Um, so go ahead and hit follow me down there on my Instagram. I'll try and update you on my own house and on the project lawn on the germination that we're getting here. I'll probably do an update video on here as well at the project lawn in about a week. But I just did a video on my own house. I got germination at day four at my house. And I just did a video of what the germination looks like at day six. So check out that video. I'll leave it in the video description below and I'll leave it above. And like always guys, if you found today's content helpful, make sure you smash that like button. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm so other, other people can find my channel. And if you're new and you wanna find more detail about the five steps that we did today for the fall overseed here at the project lawn, check out the video right here. I talk about all the products that I did and use today out here in the project loan in more detail and again if you're new hit that subscribe button right here so you don't miss out on future content in the before and afters of the project loan right here and like always i'll see you in the next one